Uh, another one I like to use, Brush Insert Model Toolkit. If you kind of want to, with the M key, we'll grab, a, grab this thing here. If you insert on either side, it'll insert to the right, to the left. You now, if you start scaling, it's going to go way out and way in. Uh, if you don't want that, you want to scale on a local axis, hit this L sim. That's your local symmetry, so now it'll scale along your local axis here. And if you just want one down the middle, just make sure the icons goes down the middle. Then control drag, control drag again. And now this is all stuck together. So down here, we're getting into local symmetry and world symmetry. And all that is, is for example, if we load up, let's do cheap one here, subtool, geez, merge, visible. So for example, while I'm working, oh my God, enough with the morph brush. So while I'm working on stuff down the center of ZBrush here, so if I turn my floor, there's my ZBrush center, that's my world center. So any of this stuff here, control shift, and we go and split this off. I can hit X and we go into X symmetry and it works. So let's say I go to brush insert. No, let's do this, brush insert model kit and we'll hit M. Uh, you can go through here and you can scroll through here. I also like to hit M and just kind of quickly grab what I need. So let's go ahead and grab this shape here. You can go ahead and insert these shapes. Now let's say, uh, you know, you can drag these straight out at you. There's a couple different ways. Picker is one way to do it. You can go to orientation and this thing is actually an arrow. So if you point it downwards, they're always going to be pointing downwards. You can also go through here and you can say, uh, just click on this and then uh, it'll just always be pointed straight out no matter what the underlying surface is. So if you want to do that, you can do that. So let's go ahead and say split on mass points. And now we're working on this model. And let's just show these two here. So now we're working on this model here. So if I hit X, the X symmetry is already inherited because we inserted it on this one. X symmetry is turned on. So now X symmetry is turned on over here. So of course I can go through here and I can say, let's go poly group, poly loop. And we'll go to inset poly group all. And we'll do region through here. And then we'll do like a Q mesh poly group all. And we can hold down shift and push this in. Then we can do like crease PG and hit D and then that turns on dynamic. And there we go. So now we're modeling across X symmetry, right? Now, if I want to scale these up, you're going to see it's going to scale way out and it's going to scale way in. It's doing world axis scaling. So what you need to do is go over here to L sim and now you can scale right along your local symmetry axis. Now, if we have this object here and we go to um, insert, say a simple cube, and we have our picker on, and we have our cube over here, and we go ahead and say, this is actually gonna be a pain in my butt, isn't it? Okay, so we do that, we go ahead and say split unmasked points, so we're kind of working on this cube here. And then here, if we do a mirror and weld, it's just gonna mirror and weld across an axis. However, if we go through here, let's do this, let's do insert single edge loop here, and then we'll go ahead and say bevel, this edge loop complete, and then I hold down control alt, and then go to unmesh mesh center and we'll scale it along here. So this is the shape we have here. Again, if we do mirror and weld, because it's across an axis, it will mirror and weld across that axis. However, if we turn off X symmetry, hold down control shift, hold down alt, and then geometry modify delete hidden. Now I just have this object on one side. So when I turn on X symmetry and I have local sim turned off, it's gonna be like, oh, I'm X symmetrical with nothing. There's nothing over here. So if I wanna do this, if I do mirror and weld, it's gonna be like, doesn't result in any polygons because if I turn on my floor, the mirror and weld operation does negative X to positive X. So what I got to do first is geomet deformation, mirror across the X axis, mirror and weld, then it mirrors across the world axis. And then now I, here I am in symmetry again. So I can hold down control alt and I can just move these things in symmetry. However, if I just want this thing on one side, turn off X, delete that. So let's go ahead and delete hidden. So it's like this. Now it's like, well, I want this thing to be mirrored. I want it to be like, uh, mirrored across this x-axis. So if I do a mirror and weld, or a mirror, let's say I have it on this side. Let's say I do a mirror and weld here, it's gonna just throw it over here. So if I, but if I turn on L sim, and I do a mirror and weld, that's gonna mirror it on its local axis this way. So that way, you can actually, and if I, um, so that's mirroring and welding. Now it's still not symmetrical. I don't have symmetry turned on. I haven't hit X, so activate symmetry is off. So I go to unmesh mesh center, hold that control and put out an edge loop and hold on control, put another edge loop so I can keep doing that. If I do another mirror and weld, it's going to mirror this side to that side and it's taking the entire bounding box. So this vertice to this vertice, it creates a box and then it puts a center line right down the middle of that box that makes your axis mirrorable. So what I can do is I can, if I want to say to keep this and mirror it, I can go mirror and X, I can do a mirror and weld and then mirror it back. And then now it's symmetrical across this local axis here. 
If I hit X to turn on X symmetry, it is now mirrored in X symmetry locally on this axis right here. So now I can go through here and I can say inset a single poly, each poly, I can inset this. Now when you inset, if you hold down control, it'll do a proportional inset. If you don't, it'll just do it with this. If you hold down shift, it'll do a square inset. So shift is square, uh, default is just, I don't even know what that is. And then control is proportional inset. So control proportional inset, and then yeah, Q mesh plot your ball, and you can push this in. You can see we're symmetrical across this local axis. This is world, this is local. Now, local symmetry can sometimes mess you up, so just be aware that it's on, but when you're working in local axis on a complex object, um, you can have symmetry here. It doesn't have to be X symmetry either. Um, if we go into uh, mirror and weld, it's geometry modified topology mirror and weld, we say do it in the Z. You can mirror and weld in the Z axis. Again, it just took your bounding box, put a mirror and weld line right down the middle, so we can, you know, move this forward, we can change the bounding box, and it doesn't really matter because whenever we mirror and weld, uh, we can do X, Y, and Z. Uh, let's turn off our floor, mirror and weld X, Y, and Z. There we go. So we can mirror and weld in X, Y, and Z. We can also go into transform and turn on X, Y, and Z symmetry. So we have X, Y, and Z symmetry with local symmetry turned on. And now when I tap Alt, it'll grab all four sides of this thing. So let's go ahead and do a quick bevel, edge loop complete. And now when I tap Alt, we're getting all four corners of this. So now we'll do like another inset here. Hold on Control, hold on Control. And then Q mesh, probably your ball. That shift. So again, symmetry, however you'd like, locally on this off axis, so that you can work in world symmetry and then also local symmetry on objects like this and like this all together. Now, if you have something like the commander, where his gun is like off to the side here for the final model, uh, I'll have a working file where I can work across world symmetry, local symmetry, and then I'll have a proxy in here that just turns it because there's no arbitrary working plane like in Modo. So it's a little bit easier to work on a separate file <clears throat> in that case. Uh, how do you replace it in the scene with the commander in the same place after changing the worksy file? Oh, um, for the proxy mesh on the commander, uh, what I would do is just do a merge visible. And if I'm doing a lot of Z modeler work, I'll just take that merge visible and throw it in here. Um, if I'm doing a lot of des dyna mesh, what I'll do is I'll merge visible decimation mesh or pre-process current, uh, decimate it down, and then bring it in. Uh, it is a little bit of manual work. I'm not going to lie. I wish I had a more elegant solution. You could maybe use Z repeat it to like do the transformation for you, but yeah, it's not a pretty process, but I don't do it that often. Usually it's only where these things interact is what I really care about. So I can usually go a month, you know, if I'm working on this guy for a month, let's say I, I can just get proxies in maybe every other day. Just take a couple minutes to put that new proxy in.